Hello folks, and welcome back to the channel, Farm Rebel Extreme here. Here we are on the 14th of June 2024, looking at a banger of some juicy cracking new mods. This has taken a while to set up, and, that, and to be honest, I haven't got everything set up. But as we go along with that, I will clear some things of that, and then we'll get with the rest of the mods. Also, as we're recording this, and as you're watching this when this goes live, and that's the mods for two days ago on the 12th. That I'll be doing next, so yeah, that's going to be a bit of a delayed mod review, but that will be out hopefully not too long after this is done. But anyway, so get along with our new mods for today. We've got the Deco Trees and Deco Plants. This is by Dear Half Proofly. This is 5.89 megabytes download, and essentially what this is, it's a pack of some decorative trees and some potted plants and that. So yeah, we got some trees, cypresses, and even hanging trees and that, or hanging flowers. But yeah, I'll try to put them on buildings that hang flowers, and for some reason they're not popping up and that. I'll try to place them down normally, and they're not popping up, so I'm not too sure on that. But anyway, so... We head into our build mode, so you'll find this under items. Or oh, decorations on that, so yeah. At towards the end, so yeah, you got your deco trees one, two, oh sorry, <laughs> deco trees big, big, two. It's pretty much the same difference is in the potted plants. Olive tree, got a campfire, potted plant, got a Town plant one, town plant two, street flower, flower two, cypress one, cypress two, willow one, willow two, sorry, sorry. Oh, deco trees three, deco trees four, hanging flower. So, yeah, this is the one I was having issues with, and oh, yeah, now it's popping up. So, you go a lot closer to the building. So, Get something like that. Toggle free mode. And yeah, terms with slot count for these. These are mainly three, two, and one slot counts. So yeah, if we have a look at those hanging potted plants. Actually, no, no, not to be fair. They do look quite good in that. Are they clipping through? They are slightly clipping through, so... Yeah, I've got to be careful when you place them that, but overall, not too bad. I do like the look of them that. So, yeah, back to our decorations and others. And, yeah, that is it. So, yeah, slot counts are, yeah, three, two, and one. So, for these ones here, these are three slots for the hanging pot plants and these small pot plants and the campfire. They are one slot, and cypresses, and these other ploy pants. These are two, and these ones, you can lift and just eat them in that. They do have collisions out, so you can collide with them. Uh, like so. But yes, <laughs> so, sorry if you're that noisy in the background. Uh, someone on the motorcycle and that. But anyways, that is the Deco Trees and Deco Plants by Dior. How proofly or proofy sorry <laughs> next now for something a little bit different and something very niche and unique as well this is the flags of German federal states this is by the Lord 5.6 megabytes download and yeah this is a pack of as you can see fighting flags of all 17 federal states in Germany this does include the German flag itself over there but anyway, so you find these under decorations, under others. So yeah, first slot count. So the flag of Germany. Sorry, try to get a camera angle in Bilbo. So that one and the flag of Baden-Württemberg. And again, I do apologize if I mispronounce these. These are three slots on console. All the other flags are four slots. So you got your flag of Bavaria. Yeah, I think. So yeah, something like that. Flag of Berlin. Flag of Brandenburg. Flag of Bremen. Flag of Hamburg. Flag of Hessen. Flag of Mecklenburg Western. Was it 
Paul Mourinho, yeah, Paul Mourinho. Lewis Saxony, North Rhine, West Philia, Philia, sorry. Flag of Rhineland, Palatinate, Palatinate. The Sorland flag, Flag of Saxony, Saxony and Holt. Schweizerich Holstein, Thuringia, Thuringia, and that is it. So, yeah, if you're on a German map, or if you're a German now and you want to celebrate your nationality and your federal states, then yeah, we'll whack these down. And yeah, these are 500 to place, and that is the flags of German federal states by Vlort. Next. Now for the Modern House. This is by Leo Leo. 10.77 megabytes to download. 30 slots on console. And yeah, essentially what is this? It's a Modern House. Does have a seat trigger in that. Does have some nice deck in that. You know, a little outside porch in that. But anyway, so you find this under build mode, under buildings, under houses. Modern House. 150 grand to place. And uh, 20 D, yeah, 20 D meters. Free slot screws down to two. So yeah, that is the modern house by Leo Leo. Next, now for the mail shed. This is by 750 Ti Modding. It is 7.69 megabytes to download. Nine slots on console. And yeah, essentially what it is is a mail shed where you store your equipment, nap bells, and pallets. Yeah, it's 15 grand to purchase, daily maintenance of 20. And your light switch is just over here. So, lights on, lights off. So, yeah, clients under build mode, under buildings, under sheds, 15 grand. Nine slots goes down to one. But, yeah, overall, not too bad. Do love the brick and mortar, isn't that? As I always do. Love to like the wear and texture now on the corrugated metal bits there but yeah that is the metal shed by 750ti modding next now for the grain storage hold this is by agro modding 24.97 megabytes of download and what this is is as in the name it's a grain storage hold doesn't support multi crops in that but does support all your basic normal crops so meat barley and that corn sunflower soybeans and that so yeah, so you've got a gate here to open up. This is going to be your input. And one thing I like about this is the sort of realism of it. So you put your grain in here. Then it goes up here, up this little pipe. Obviously, this doesn't actually happen in game in that, but yeah, you can sort of see how it works. It goes underground. And then eventually it goes up into the shafts and that. Where it gets all dispersed into this little compartment, so you've got like wheat, barley. Oops, if I can climb this. Nope, we're stuck, so. Come on, let's get out of here. There we go, so this just tabs to that, so. Yeah, so I'll get stuck, but also this does come with a wing bridge. You can't open the doors here, so you can view the crop in that. But yeah, so way station is here, output is here via this little pipe. Also you got a little office space over here, like that. I like it very much. Lovely jubbly. Also you got your shed lights and that, that'll turn these on. But yeah, so let's hop into our JCB here. We've got 150,000 litres of sunflower. This does support up to 660,000 litres, so back this up. So that's going to unload. And yeah, this is 476,392 to buy. 32 slots on console, daily upkeep of 96, and size is 19.3 metres by 30.7 metres. So yeah, that is empty. I should wait for that to come down first before we smash into the shed, so... But yeah, I think if you're going to get a proper way now, you'll go this way around. So yeah, we'll drive forward like so, so you'll get your base way in that, so... 
with our tractor and trailer setup, we weigh basically just under 16.8 tons. And as you can see, as the crop is going in, usually that will go up, but obviously where I'm using the Tordis snat, obviously it doesn't have a weight snat or extra weight to the crop. That's one thing I love about the Tordis equipment, not just because of the capacity, because of the false weight in that, but realistically the weight will go up in that. But yeah, your funds on build mode, on building silos, yeah, 476 grand as I mentioned to purchase. And you can stack these up together if you wish, so something like that. Doesn't do too much to the tray when you place it down. But yeah, overall, it looks pretty good. And that is the grain storage hole by Agromodin. Next. Now we got a couple of productions we look at. So first of all we got the Artisan Silent Productions. It's by Raw Coastal Modin. 5.73 megabytes of download and yeah, this is a pretty interesting one if I see so myself. So as you can see we've got a bunch of product in, so you can make salad and a bit of a variety of side items. So if you go to here, so yeah, you've got your frozen vegetables and that, so that requires your carrots and parsnips. So for some of these items you will require the premium expansion. Then moving on, we've got your honey roasted parsnips. Then you've got your salad, so that requires this tomatoes, cheese, bread and egg. Artisan salad, which requires a bit of everything, apart from the carrots and parsnip, and requires olive oil. Then for your premium artisan salad, so, yeah, a bit of a difference, so this does add the cheese and that to it, and the carrots. Then also got your egg salad box, so yeah, terms with capacities and that. Just looking at my notes, so for your root crops and that, so that is 100,000 year capacity. For your honey, it is 50,000 year capacity. And for everything else in terms of your input, it is 25,000 liters. And in terms of your output and capacity in that, I'll say that it's about 100,000 liters or so. But yeah, let's get these pads spawning. So, input for your materials is over here. And you see, we've got a lot of pallets. Unfortunately, these are very heavy and now they do weigh 760 kilograms, 743, 743 for that. So, yeah, we're going to require a tight hander or some form of lifter in that. And if you look at the prices in that, so. Go all the way down, so pass our usual items, pass the premium and platinum expansion. So yeah, honey roasted parsnip goes for 1800 per thousand years. Bit of a minor variation, goes up to two grand. Fruits and vegetables the same, artisan salad is the same, so is your premium artisan salad, and your normal salad is about the same. And then, yeah, same with your sad egg box, so at the end of the day, what you go with in terms of profit-wise is down to you. Down to if you got the items or not, obviously things like the olive oil, you can sell that separately in that, but if you got the olive oil for other productions and that you want to use it for, then this is one of those productions for in that, so overall, I do like this and that. Good use of existing assets and that. So yeah, also this does come with a cell point, so yeah, in terms of slot counts is 13, yeah, 13 slots for the production. And also we've got a cell point over here. And that is one slot on console. And one thing I forgot to glance over is the yeah, send off stuff, so you can purchase the salad in that. The market, so this is what this is, so this will be under productions, on sell point, so yeah, that's going to be your sell point there. Production, so we'll go over towards the end. 
So yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's about your throwing source goes down to one. Cost only forty five grand and that's uh, overall pretty reasonable, I'd say. But yeah, do I have any of these down? I'm pretty sure I got some down. So interestingly, I think these are the first items I've ever seen that does not support the sell everything items by Schultz modding because usually they yeah, with Schultz is more than that, when it comes to what is sellable in that, I think it's down to the code in that in the XML file, if it classified as a fill type, so... Because yeah, our apple juice that we're going to be looking at next, you can sell that all very fine in that, so... Yeah, the first item that requires is home sell point in that, that doesn't work with sell every container by Schultz modding. But anyways, that is the Artisan side of production by Roar Coastal Modding. Next. Now, this is something. This is the Apple Tree to Spy Omentana. 14.3 megabytes to download. In terms of slot count, it is 5 slots for your Apple Trees. So we've got a single Apple Tree or a group of them. For cell point, which we've got over here, it is 6 slots on console. And for the apples, you can get some apple juice. And that is 80 slots on console. And when I saw Omotana working on this and that, I absolutely loved it. Now, like, the animations and that, absolute beautiful. And that's like just filling up. Obviously, this is normal apple juice, but you can role play it so that you get some adult apple juice. Also, we've got an apple to play with. Sweet. Chuck the apple. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, the production does have a door, obviously. That <laughs> can just go open and shut. So, yeah, let's go into our productions tab. So, yeah, we've got your apple trees and that. So, you could just do it with water and that. You could do it with seed and fertilizer or seed and manure. And then for a tenth of that, so the or well, tenth of cycles per month, about 240 cycles per month. And just 24 cycles per month, you got your single apple tree. Same requirements in that. But yeah, terms with capacities, it is for the group trees. 10,000 liters of seed and fertilizer, 50,000 liters of water, and 100,000 liters of manure. For your single trees, it is 10,000 liters of seeds, water, and fertilizer. 20,000 years of manure and your output for at least the single trees is 10,000 years. I can see that being a bit more, maybe like 100,000 years for your big ones here. But yeah, these do come in pallets, that's 1,000 years, but only weighs 30 kilograms. So, and as we sort of glanced over earlier on in that, so apples on its own. It's worth about 1700, 1800, everywhere else. But with the market sold for fruits by Mrs. Omatala, that does go up a little bit to 2400. And then for that to be converted into apple juice, so for your normal, normal sell point, it's about five grand per thousand years. But for the market stalls in fruits, it's a bit of a more of a premium than that, so. Actually, one thing I did look at is does this market saw now will work with your other items? It does. So uh, things like your tomato, tomatoes, strawberries, and that, your lettuces, and that, these do have that premium aspect of a sell price. So that I oh, actually I do love. So even if you don't want to do the apple juices, download this mod. Only 14.3 megabytes to download, and you can use it for a lot of stuff. And just having a quick look at that, so nothing else. But yeah, if it's not fruit, it's not going to be accepted. But yeah, so we've got our apple juice, so let's take this over to our sell point. Boom, boom, and sold. Not quite. So 5,290 plus another 1,650. So, yeah, not too shabby if I say so. So, I think I'm not going to be using as a money, yeah, way to make money on our 
Oh, I'm going to do this place series, so I will say the 10,000 British Cow ta Challenge. Feel free to check that out. That will be in the end screen. But, anyways, this is the Apple Tree by Mrs. Omatonna. Next. Moving on, we've got the Farm Pack Trish Nerd. This is by Farmers 5 Ton. 67.92 megabytes of download. Essentially, what it is, it's a Farm Pack. That contains a cow barn and a farmhouse, or a cow barn and farmhouse in one. So yeah, first of all you find these other build modes, so... Under farmhouses, so you've got the farmhouse on its own. 100,000 to buy. Slot count is 41 goes down to 2. Daily upkeep of that is 5 bucks, and that goes down to 1. But yeah, we'll have a look at that in a sec. Then moving on to your animals and your cows. So, you've got the cow barn on its own. And that is 45 slots, goes down to 1. Or if you want one that has all three, so it's all nicely linked together. That is 40 what? Sorry. Uh, Trishner and that. That is 45 slots, so 45 slots for that. Cow stable on its own, and that is 47, and 41 for the farmhouse, just had to make that and buy a correction there. But yeah, so we've got the all-in-one here, so... Go from right to left, so... Got your farmhouse. Seat trigger up here. Wardrobe function is just up here and that. But also got like a little loft in that, so... Okay, try not to go up that way, but there we go. Can't quite access the loft in that. And yeah, it says the trigger for the wardrobe is here, but... Yeah, I've got the help menu open up. Nothing's changing, so... Looks like a update's going to be needed for that. But yeah, moving on to the cow barn side of things, so... Got a little hay loft up here in that. Got your rolling door in that. So, yeah, when you place this down, again, with some of these like farm oh, the little packs and that we've been having, or the farms that has like, these kind of things where it has like a ramp in that. Oh, yeah, and actually, we are stuck now, so just do a cheeky reset. But, yeah, so you've got cows here. Feed and straw goes into here for straw. Capacity is 21,375 litres. 45 cow is the maximum. And as you can see, 33,750 is the feeding capacity. And also, look about this is that you've got the option to open all these gates to that. So, uh, there we go, open up a gate. Not too shabby. So, story output is over here. But yeah, whilst I was saying that, yeah, easy to get stuck on there, so do go under there. But yeah, it's got like a ramp in that, but it just dips into the ground. I'm not sure if it's a map thing or what, but... Could be. Very much could be in that. But yeah, ooh. We are clipping. <laughs> oh, not sure what's going on there, but... Yeah, we are clipping textures and that. But yeah, overall, not too bad, not too shabby. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Got a little bay over here as well, store your equipment, bells, and all that. But yeah, overall, not too bad, nice little cracking on that. So that is the Farm Pack Trishner by Farm 5 Tom. Next. Moving on, we got the very old timber frame barn. This is by Model, oh, sorry, Model Leisure. 19.17 megabit stamp load. Slot count is 6 goes down to 1. Costs 45,420 to buy. D upkeep of 120. And the timber frame farm now is typically used back in the 1980s. And yeah, we can store hay, straw, and sheaves of wheat. Also, but yeah, general farming aspect, you can like store. Maybe some very small equipment in that. But yeah, so I think, like, looking at it, like, it used to be like a little pig sign that. Apparently, according to mod description, that. But, anyways, you'll find some other buildings under sheds. 
go towards the end. So yeah, 45, 420. No colour options or anything to note. But yeah, so you've got your doors and that, so... If I shut that up, so the gate itself... That is not openable from the outside. So yeah, not openable from the outside, so you need to open the side door. And then open that. Again, really sick of that. And that I do like. So, that is the very old timber frame barn by Model Leisure. Next. Now for the L shaped cow shed with barn. This is by Arku. 22.48 megabytes download, 27 slots on console, cost 100 grand, holds 50 cows, day maintenance of 20. And yeah, what it is, is in the name, it's a cow barn, or a cow shed with a barn. So, got a barn, store your equipment, bells, pallets, and whatever. Also got your cows and that, so, yeah, had a bit of fun trying to test this and that, get this all set up, because the trigger point for your straw is round about here, now, where it just sees the tire tracks. And for your feed, it's right about here, so... Most trailers won't fit, like, if I show, I've got the Volvo here. Obviously, they filled up with straw at the moment, so... Should want to skip ahead an hour, or to the next hour, should I say. Yeah, that's going to be another thing as well, it's uh, careful while you're driving, because you can very easily clip. So yeah, using the smallest trailer, that will go up to the ceiling, and that's it. So this is designed for very small farms and that, like, for example, like the barn itself could fit larger equipment in there, but for the cow shed, yeah, I'll get like, space for like a hay loft in that, but I can see, yeah, there's a door or whatever over there. But yeah, there's no like ladder or anything to it. And yeah, I'll try just to run and jump. But yeah, so it's got a heat off in that, but it's not functional at all. But yeah, also got your other doors over here. Where I saw your boots and that. But yeah, overall it's actually not too bad than that. I just wish Yeah, again, it's how I am now, you know, big farms and our big fields and that. Oh yeah, it's shoved down there out of the way for now. But anyway, so he finds under animals, under cows. As mentioned, 100 grand to purchase. Slot count is 27, goes down to tall. But yeah, overall not too bad. Once again, do love to brick and water textures and that. So yeah, it's the L-shaped cow shed with barn by RQ. Next. Now for something a little bit different, this is the Big Bag Tank, this is by Paisal, 17.62 megabytes to download. And yeah, essentially what it is, it's storage and that for your items and that, so... Best thing to do is turn on... Yeah, all that is on. Ah, it's on the other side, that's why. So yeah, well you can see, you got your fill points and that, and your dispersal, so... Fill up with seeds. Fertilizer, lime, and even liquid fertilizer, and that. So these do vary now between 30,000 and 40,000 liter capacities, and that. So a small and large version. So you'll find these under containers. So yeah, going from left to right, slot counts are 4, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4. 4, 4, 4, 2, and 2. Four, yeah, 2, 2, 4 liquids and that. Uh, sorry. For the herbicide and the fertilizer, everything else is 4 or 5 and that, pretty much. But yeah, so, yeah, the way it acts like basically as a storage and that. So, I think how I would implement this is let's say if you've got a shed in that. Actually, let's have a little go. So, Get a shed of some sort. Maybe something a little bit different than that. A farm barn than that. Yeah, something like that. And then what I'll do is 
open that up. So yeah, I won't sort our seeds and that whatever in here. So I'm gonna move the player away. So what I'm gonna do is say, I oh, know, I want fertilizer in that. So yeah, just go like, whack that in. So all you got to enable free mode. Oh, yeah, I always get rid of the icons and that. So yeah, cause you say you got a shed full of fertilizer and that. So. I think for like a role playing aspect in that, for a bit of a storyline in that, that can work in that. And like for seeding that, like 1000 litres. So yeah, didn't really get much of a bulk price in that, much bulk discount. Yeah, around about 1000 for 1000 litres. So if we go into our base game, big bags and that seed. So yeah, you get more if you get seeds individually in that. But again, it's that storage and. Because, because yeah, there are, you can empty them into here and fill it up. So you've got excess seed and fertilizer. You can store them in, in here. Basically, little size and that little size containers and that just for individual items. But yeah, overall, not too bad, not too shabby, I'd say. But yeah, that is the big bag tank by Paisel. Next, now for a little bit of a dicey mod. <laughs> this is the. Con Concrete rate by Castan 18, sorry I had to make that pun. But yeah, essentially what it is, it's weight. So it has a configuration option of make it look like a six sided dice snat. So yeah, you'll find this under your tools, under weights. Go towards the end. So yeah, concrete rate 200 to buy. 700 kilograms, design yes and no, so that's gonna be your dice. So you got your red. Got your actual concrete grey. And then yeah, got all your other base game colour palettes. And you can still see those little white dots. Nice little hot pink there, so yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. And yeah, they it's a 70 kilogram weight. But yeah, again, it's just like that sort of dice that just brings that little characteristic to it, I think personally. Yeah, again, maybe not be everyone's cup of teas in that. Wait a minute, you're missing something there. That's meant to be what, a one or six? Yeah, that's two, three, four, five. Shit, so you're missing a one here or six. Can we have a look? There we go. Get him. Uh, I need to tip the weight over and that. Can I just tip you over with the wheels and that? Because yeah, I don't see what we're missing. Are we missing a one or a six? Both. We're missing both. One and six. Come on, Castan. You're, you're missing the one and the six here. Oh, of course, I'm only joking that. Cracky little mod that is, but yeah, so that is the Concrete Weight by Castan 18. Next. Now for something a little bit smaller than that, we got the Bucket. This is by Bailey. 4.51 megabytes of download, 5 slots on console. And these are 302 liter buckets. You can have 22 purchase. It says you can move bulk goods, oh, sorry, bulk goods up to 302 liters, but you're going to need to fill them up with like a shovel or something or Maybe even from a tree or that actually because yeah, it won't fill up from a silo or a purchase point or anything. I've tried all of that, but yeah, it says holes for 102 liters, so surely, like maybe from like a combine that tip side back to the green door. Nope, nothing's popping up there, so. Yeah, it's got to be like, you know, some kind of shovel to fill that up. But anyway, so you find this under tools and miscellaneous. Come towards here, so yeah, we can hold pretty much most of your items. So, seeds, fertilizer, gnat, all that lovely stuff. And it comes in black, green, green 2, red, red 2, blue, and blue 2. Also, be careful because, as you can see, it can phase through the floor and that, so 
yeah, that's gone, gone now. But yeah, crack a little more on that. Not sure on the functionality now. I guess I'm just missing something that maybe. But anyway, so that is the Bucket by Bailey. Next. Now for the 4 stack 8.12 extra. This is by Benzin. 3.25 megabits to download. Slot count is 4, goes down to 1. And yeah, this is a similar to like similar to the base game model with some changes in adjustments. Got color configuration options, fast loading animation, bigger loading trigger, and basically it's a stacker for four bells. So if we look at our base game bell loader, so that is like the base game one we'll have, is it? No, sorry, that one here, base game one here. Three bells, but so we're gonna go up to four. It also has a lot of colour options. Again, it's all base game colour options, but that's the thing, like one thing, especially now with the leak of FS25, we've got like more colour options for it, some of these items, like the Andersons and that. Have let's say one, two, or even three color options. One for like the red body and that. Rim options and the the looters and that. That'd be a good thing to implement, but anyway, it's getting sidetracked. So yeah, compared to the base game, holds one more bell. And also has better animation. So got your transport and operating position. Nothing else to see here, so. What we've got is some bells in the field over here. But yeah, for... Actually, I forgot to show you the price. So, 64... No, sorry. 37 grand for the base game version. 37 grand for the modded version. Again, just make sure I'm getting the right one. Yeah, I am. 37 grand, so... Let's go over here. So, we've got three bells over here. So that's a good stack. Not too bad, actually. I do like that. And then, yeah, transport position. So it can be off on your mayor way, transporting bells and that. Again, this is maybe something I'd be using constantly and that for my 10,000 cows and that, but. Maybe not, actually, but. How does it perform when you're going at speed? So, 20 miles an hour. Not the fastest going, but yeah, it holds itself really fine. So, only bells. Basically, it just makes it stacking out a lot neater than that. So, only bells. No clipping than that. This shit all I did was just drive straight forwards. So, yeah, reasonably well, actually. So,. That is the Forsyth 8.12 Extra by Benzin. Next. Now for the Brantner TA23065. This is by Sammy Appin Modin and Leon E's Agrar. 3.37 MB download, 5 slots on console. And yeah, again, I think we've seen like, some very similar ones of this before, and that. It's even base game, or based on the base game item, so. Brightner Nat, Brightner 23065. Yeah, that is the same one here. TA Nat. With the power tube. But yeah, you got your standard and extensions. Wheel setups, wise, wise 2 standards, Michelin's, Triborg Nat. Do have color options of the Brightner green, black, red, Orange, special, and then back to your normal color palettes. Rims, all base game stuff. Oh yeah, compare that to the base game sec. So, Brightner, Ray 2. Standard extensions, fair enough. So yeah, the difference is this one has all the, the base game stuff in that. Alright, now fair enough. Also it says it has the animation of the tilt table and that, so... Yeah, this is a nice thing, so... Basically, press R1, right stick up and down. That is the tilt table being adjusted in that. So overall, not too bad, so... Let's go and unload. 
Obviously, that's your green door. Also, lights, indicators. So, select the green door. Yeah, there we go, not too bad. Again, very similar to the base game version, just the difference in the PC's color options and that. By the end of the day, still a little, nice little mod. So yeah, it's the Brantner TA23065 by Samu Alpin Modding and Leon E's Agrar. Next. Now for a pair of wind rowers, we've got the Little Spider 360 420, so that's 3.6 meters and 4.2 meters respectively. This is by Prismic 23433, 14.79 megabytes down, no seven slots on console, and yeah. These are wind rovers, as I mentioned, 3.6 or 4.2 meters respectively. And you find these under tools, under wind rovers. Go towards the end. And yeah, for the 3.6 meter one, the Spider 360, 9 grand. The Spider 420, 11 grand. 35, 55 horsepower required respectively. Work speed of 9 miles an hour. Weighs 570 and 633 kilograms. Do have some little configurations, so stickers, so this could be these at the front, so one, two, three, back to one, warren triangle, one, two, so it moves to the rear, three, oh no, sorry, not three, just one or two there. Now for your attacher cutter, so this could be like your three point linkage. Color of the protective barriers, got black or white. You got your tarpaulin color, so yellow or grey. See, so yeah, I got the 4.2 here, so yeah, essentially what's here is this is like a little swath row as well, so you can like loop around in circles. Obviously, I know it's like freshly cut grass, so it doesn't look the best in that, but let's say you got like straw swaths in that, like you know, straw that from the combine. Just want to tie things up in that. But yeah, cracking up here, kid. That also has options to fold and unfold. Oops. I do love that like, metal snapping, like bang, bang, bang. But yeah, so there were like so. But yeah, again, that metal clangness. I do love that, like the like, metal sounds and that. Like, Scraping materials and that, or scraping sounds that I do love. I wish to see out more mods than that. But, anyways, this is the this is Spider 360 420 by Prozimic 234 double three. Next, now for the coupling of tooth tarot. This is by R My Hill 3.23 megabytes download. And essentially, what this is is a 5.5 meter cold fair, cost 14 grand. So yeah, you'll find this under tools, go up here, two cultivators, move towards the end, and yeah, Lizard BZ 5.5 weighs 1.1 tons, requires just 80 horsepower and a working speed of 7 miles an hour, 40 grand base price, colour options of blue, red and green. And if we hop into our bit of an overpowered for this particular equipment, but so yeah, got it hooked up. So race, there said cultivator, nothing else, no other animations. The metal, the sort of like metal arrows and all the cultivators and bits there doesn't really move too much when you're driving around, so. That's a bit of a down on that because I do like see those spell bits going like swinging about. It has like some animation to it, but not a lot. Again, that's a personal preference in that. Does the job as required. But yeah, 14 grand, five and a half years, you've got a small farm in that. 80 horsepower tractor, look at our base game tractors, pretty much everything from the Landini upwards and that, maybe some like Zetras and that could work with. But yeah, you can get away with a lot of equipment for that. Oh yeah, there's even some better model ones for that around 80 horsepower and that. But anyways, that is the coupling off to Towers by Arm 
my hill. Next. Now for the Concertio 6500. This is by Hungry Bull. 9.48 megabytes download, 6 slots on console. And this is a 3.3 meter case plow, cost 16,490 to buy. For 150 horsepower, work speed of 12 kilometers per hour. So, yeah, you'll find some other tools, under plows. Go towards the end. It doesn't say cases out on the mod hub and that, but obviously in game it does have that case agriculture branding. Got color options and wheel options and all that, so. Wheel brands, Treadborg, BKTs, wheel steps, US rims or Hungarian rims, rippers, got rippers A, B, C, and back to A. Decal configurations, US IH, US Keys IH, US Keys IH decal 2, your Hungarian IH decal, Hungarian Keys IH decals, and so forth. Draw bars, you've got the old type or the new type, so pin hook or ball pin or ball hook. Main colour, so you've got your case red and that your construction yellow, orange and that. Pretty similar to that. Yeah, they're like going back and forth, you can tell the difference, but if you point to me which one's yellow, which one's orange, I could pick those apart in that, to be honest. Obviously, it's more of a dollar yellow compared to the base game yellow than that. But yeah, overall, it's not too bad at the end of the day. But yeah, so yeah, that's going to be your main colour. Also, you've got spring colour, so that's going to be your springs. Your mud scraper, so it's going to be a hot pink. So that's going to be theirs. And I think that's actually the ring colours black, purple, so that shows that off. So yeah, we've got our cage tractor here, so let's hook up to the plow. Ah yeah, 3.3 meters, I forgot to mention that. You do have options to fold and unfold. And all that does is just bring the wheels in and slightly lose the springs in that. Obviously you create fills that if you wish. And these can bring up stones to that, depending on what field you're on. And yeah, I do think what stones are needed now, so that ain't gonna be any problems for us, but overall, decent little mod net. Does the job as required. And unhook. But yeah, nice little detail, lovely little spring and gist and that. But yeah, so that is the Case Concert TL6500 by Hungry Bull. Next. Now for the Lizard FP300. This is by Polypool and Vertex Design. 6.93 megabytes of download. 6 slots on console goes down to 1. And what this is, is a 3 meter roller that has as an option as a weight. So you'll find this under tools, under your rollers. There we go, go towards the end. 10,500 to buy initially. Warren triangles, yes or no. Then you got your weight plates, yes or no. So that goes from 1,200 kilograms to 1,470. Obviously, in game, it rounds it up and that, but the actual weight is 1,470. Cost an extra, what, 450 quid, whatever bucks, wherever you want to use. 7 miles an hour working speed, so. Yeah, not too shabby, I would say. And yeah, the linkage is on this side, I think, so. There we go. And conveniently, we do have a freshly drilled field, so. Let's go over here a sec, so. Go to here, press L1, raise and lower. We also have an option to release or fix the steering brake. In R1, right stick up and down does that. So yeah. I'll see what the difference is, so... Release steering brake. So 
there a difference? Ah, oh, wait a minute. Was it? Maybe it's something to do with this survey. It rolls. Goes up. No, it's not that. But yeah, it seems to do something that. Like, to the tractor itself, but... Yeah, I can't tell... Unless it's... Oh, what's it? Maybe to do with when you... S dropping that. Maybe it's something to do with that? Yeah, like, honestly, I don't know what the steering brake is. It's doing something to the tractor and that, but... Yeah, unfortunately, I can't tell and that. Yeah, you know, like generally I can now. I do apologise on that, but overall, at the end of the day, it is a cracking little mod. You know, something again a little bit different now. Yeah, you know, from your cultivators and all that. But yeah, it just has that little uniqueness to it now, which I do appreciate that. And yeah, this was the Lizard FP300 by Polypool and Vertex Design. Next. Now, we got the Sky X50 Eco North. This is by Nico Bix. 10.84 megabytes to download. Nine slots on console goes down to one. And what this is is obviously a fertilizer spreader that has an option to go from 24 meters to 50 meters. I don't think we've seen the 50 meter spread before. At least base game. Well, definitely not base game, but in terms of you know modded pull behind stuff. So yeah, 40 meters. I'm used to seeing. But yeah, got 2400 in capacity, 3200. And 4,000 capacity, so that is the biggest normal one as well, because most like, model models will have like 3,200 or 3,900, so that extra 100 years off fertilizer that doesn't do lime, I'm afraid. But anyway, so protective kit, no or yes. And yeah, just that little bit there on the back protects the kit or equipment itself. Support system, simple, or with casters. Cover, no or yes. The working weight, we've got the EV 2436, so 24 to 36 meters, 32 to 44 meters, and 40 to 50 meters. However, when I've gone and looked up, I've had all of the options, like you know, the ranges available, so yeah, 50 meters, 48, 44, 40. Oh no, I was wrong, sorry. Full, so okay, I was just popping up there, but before, but anywho, see ya. It helps you if you're on full set equipment. But yeah, extra hundred liters, something like this will make a difference in that. Day in day, especially if you're using precision farming, so they use a lot of <laughs> yeah, a lot of fertilizer in that. But yeah, so you got your folding animations. Again, I can't really see too much of a difference. I oh, know, I can see literally just at the back here now, around where that area here is. Boop boop, yeah, and no. Cover. And then unload, drop shrines there. Decent fill up rating that. But yeah, so on that, 21,800. Not too bad, not too shabby. But yeah, that was the Sky X50 Eco North by Nico Pix. Next. Now for the New Holland TX32 Corn Cutter. This is by the Design Farmer. 3.39 megabytes to download. Slot count is. Yeah, lost my notes for that, so <laughs> let's have a quick look on that. So, slot count. Yeah, five slots goes down to one. Yeah, couldn't find my notes, I do apologise. But yeah, so corn tether now is designed for the New Holland TX32. Obviously, the, yeah, Design Farm doesn't do the TX32, and far as I can gather, the only people that's done the TX32 is Giant Software, I think. Yeah, Giant Software and I think it was a adapter was made for the Kubota 
capacitor extension for PC and that, but apart from that, the TX32 and that, yeah, so that's what I've got here. This is by Giant Software, so yeah, again, a bit of a niche one, I'll admit, but regardless. Actually, if I have a quick look on ModHub, yeah, we've got your TX66s and that by Toffa. But besides from that, I cannot find anything else. You got the pack of New Holland for the like, 590, 490s and that. But yeah, apart from that, absolute nothing else. So, bit of a weird and unique thing now. Again, sorry, looking on the mod hub and my notes at the moment on the, my separate screen. But anyway, so you find this under your tools, corn headers, not force headers, corn headers. 27 grand, 4.5 meter work width, 6 miles an hour, does obviously corn and sunflower. 5 slots goes down to 1, weighs 1 1.4 tons. And yeah, we may have skipped ahead a little bit now because, yeah, again, I had the massive corn film before, but I uh, messed it up with the Sixty Buildings pack with that mod review that. Yeah, I was going, I was planning on redoing this test map today on Friday that. But yeah, unfortunately, that didn't really happen. So we have got some corn here now, it's not much. Let's do this corn here at least, but yeah. This will get sorted over the weekend before Monday's boss drop, if anything gets dropped. I mean, at the end of the day, it does the job simply enough. Just want to show off the animations and that. Give us a decent mod for you, Matt. Even though it's corn that, so it's hard to see what you're doing in the corn that. But yeah, it's managing mill. It's managing horsepower and that. And in terms with base game stuff, so if we go to our harvesters and that, the TX32 and that, that is 155 horsepower. So that's pretty much anything base game wise, and yeah, 3.4 meters to the base game one, so it is better than that. 6 miles an hour, so that's a 7, no, 6 miles an hour. Let's turn that off because that is absolutely loud, but at the end of the day, Bit of a niche more than that, I will admit, but anyway, so that was the new Holland TX32 corn car by the designed farmer. Next. So here we are at shopping that, just because, yeah, we're spacing that. Uh, we've got the John Deere HD 50F with the Integrate Car Bar Wagon. This is by Mod Mitchell. It is 11.47 megabytes to download. Slot count is 18 slots goes down to 1. Oh, yeah, essentially what it says is the same as the base game cut bar as you'll see. But it has, yeah, it says in the version of the cut bar it has an integrated cut up bar wagon. Cut bar trolley for easier transportation of said cut up bar net. Mod is suitable for multiplayer net. So yeah, it says shop menu and cut bars and that. But yeah, we didn't have cut bars that we've got corn headers and that or whatever. So anyways, you find this under tools and headers. So yeah, there we go. Got John Deere, case, class, fence. So do you have your Aussie brand options, base game options, and even like weird unique colour options. So you can go Absolute crazy with this and that, in terms of colours. Obviously also comes with the Draper and that, which is always. So yeah, I got the normal X90. And what I want to do is quickly take this to our field and that. Of the wheat and that, or what we've got left. Again, I'll save the wheat and that for our other cup, our mod view and that, but... Yeah, just today wasn't the day now, like, obviously, for those who don't know now, like, the reason why, again, haven't been doing mods now, or map tours and that, is one, working a lot, 7 to 4 and that, but also now, I've, now I've got, well, Burton and I got a pinched nerve in my back, so, that causes a lot of pain when I'm at work, so, oh yeah, it helps if you fold said cover, so, 
There we go, turn on that. Yeah, it does pretty much seem as beast game. Yeah, love it, it's just more of a it's more of a cosmetic thing than that, but again something really sticking out again. It's not really something base game FS supports. You know, with like your air hoses and that, whatever. But yeah, it's just something a little bit different, some like minor quality of life stuff and that. Also has the, the brand configuration, so do you have a massive John Deere header in that? 50.2 meters. Do it at 10 miles an hour, did it say? Pretty sure it did say that, right? So, save how to use like the Titan headers and that. You know, 13.8, 3.7 meters. Yeah, so, where is it again? John Deere. This just had it, so yeah. Oh no, it says 10 miles an hour work speed on Mod Hub, but no, it's actually, so maybe that's 10 kilometers per hour, but. Again, something I may be, this is me actually using that on my 10,000 cow challenge. Like a lot of mods we've looked at today, I think could be implemented on my 10,000 cow challenge. But anyway, it's getting sidetracked again. This is the John Deere HD50F with the integrated car bar wagon by Mod Mitcher. Next, back at the shop again, and we've got the CNH Flex Draper series. This is by Caserius i.e. Caserius mod in that, and yeah, 25.49 megabits to download, and we've got a 30 foot and a 36 foot version, slot counts are 13 slots and 12 slots respectively, we'll look at that in a sec, and yeah, this is manufactured around 2003, 2005, and it's more suitable for the two components we've got here, the new Han CH770, and the case Axle Flow 7150, and there's a configuration compatibility it says but yeah features got different decals and all that so best show you it in store and that so under tools and headers so the 36 foot is 13 slots and the 30 foot is 12 slots 35,500 and 20 and a half grand basically 6 miles an hour does the same props same weight so yeah you got your lizards case 2062, both the older and newer decals, and yeah, the new Holland 84C, and yeah, back to your lizard. So, yeah, we go into our new Holland here. So, unfold the combine net. Scram that as you do. I want to feel like about this. We say, yeah, L1, R1, right stick left and right. That drops those little support wheels. And also, you can pivot the head now. I do like these little animations and that. Just those as you wish. Obviously, it helps if you unfold said header. So, yeah, when you fold and unfold it, so yeah. Has a little draper in that. Draper effect in that. Not too bad, not too shabby in that. And what I do is, once I clear it is, <laughs> there's a TMR bell in that. I was setting up for one of the other mods earlier in that. We'll take it to the field and show off. But yeah, I do like the look of it in that. And uh, for a 36 foot or 10 meters, is it? I just want to double check for sure. Yeah, 10 meter header and that. 35 and a half grand. When you compare it to base game stuff, 35 and a half grand, that gets you <laughs> like the simple base game headers and that, like the lower end stuff. So, this is a very cheap one, sis. So, props to that, at least I'll say. More of a four wall combine header and that. So, if the price thing is thing for you, then this is certainly a mod for you. But yeah, works as normal. These animations and that are being picked up probably in that. Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. It just goes on. Holds you up. 
So yeah, that was the CNH Flex Draper Series Bike Series modding. Next. Now for something I personally don't like. When I say I don't like, I mean personally in real life. But in Farm Sim, I don't mind it. This is the electric motorcycle, did by Solutions Modding. 6.41 megabytes download, 5 slots on console, cost just over three and a half grand, which is definitely not realistic in that because, yeah, the like, prices of electric motorcycles nowadays are through the roof. That's when they're not locked behind subscriptions and that, but anyway, so. 54 horsepower equivalent in electric motor, CVT transmission, battery is 120 kilowatt an hour capacity, 55 miles an hour top speed, and only weighs 130 kilograms. But yeah, mud guards, yes or no. Design, standard, America, Brazil, I think that's German, not Germany. Yeah, it is Germany, sorry. Africa Corp, Jungle Corp and all that desert. Then yeah, also you got your numbers that, so on the front. So these is going to be your numbers on the right, so let's pick Lucky 13. Now go for your main colour, so that will change your main body. Also if you got your design colour, this is going to change the very small bits at the front, like the under... Yeah, basically the underside of the fairing and that. From my guards, colours and that. So pick a red and that. So that's going to change your forks, number plate, and your chassis and that. And obviously my guards, yes or no, just show that off. And then nasty ring, ring colours, pink. There you go. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention. Huge plethora of colour palettes. Different shades of red, two purples and that. So it's gonna be something for everyone. So yeah, turn you on. Help menu is open because yeah, we've got this thing here. So L1, right stick up and down. Can't find nothing on the mod hub. L1 up, L1 down. Yeah, it's doing something to the player, Nat. But yeah, apart from that, I can't tell what it's doing. But yeah, in terms of driving around, it doesn't really bank as much, it doesn't really handle, you know, compared to the other stuff we've seen in that. But yeah, again, just try and press L1, right stick up and down, see what it does, but honestly, I can't tell. Yeah, it says it's made for different types of terrain and locations. So yeah, let's see how it handles a bit of this speed that in the fields and that, so... Obviously for a lot of part of this, it's relatively flat in that. And obviously I did flatten a lot of this map off. But yeah, we've got a little hill section here, so... How does this handle? Maybe it's something to do with the passenger now. So L1, right stick down. So yeah, we do like stand up or anything. So L1, right stick up. Is that a wheel? Maybe something to do with wheeling, but apart from the aspect of wheeling. I'm not sure exactly. So yeah, L1, right stick, down. Maybe, yeah, I think that's what it is. So I can do like, the ability to wheel in that. Well, at least it's fair enough, not too bad. But yeah, I wish I was just know a bit more. Again, I could be wrong on that part entirely. Also, you do have a horn. Lights, obviously no. Indicators, no, because this is an electric bike. And of course, even things like indicators will drain the battery on this. But yeah, overall, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, I know I'm bashing it a little bit, but that's just because of the real life concept of electric motorcycles, which, yeah, some may think, oh, it's the future of motorcycling. No, it ain't. Like here in the UK, 
at my once, one looking at is for another motorcycle is I'd rather spend three grand to get another Honda Blackbird or heck it, spend five grand to get a second hand Suzuki Hayabusa. The fastest bike in the world, or worst the world's fastest bike in the world. Over an e-bike any day of the week in that, but yeah, that's a bit of a real life thing that. But as a modern that, I like the concept of that little farm. Little farm e-bike and that, little pit stop bike and that, get around and that, so that's I do admire. Also you got your suspension, battery and that. And also you got your drive shaft and that as well. The straight from the motor and that. But yeah, this is the electric motorcycle by Solutions Modding. Bit of a mini ranty pant moment there, I do apologise, but anyways. Next. Than that, we're going to be looking at the Fortscript E512. This is my Deutsche Vote. 58.23 megabytes to download, and this is a little small pack, so it also contains the Fortscript or E512 Combine Officer, along with two headers. So we've got a 6 meter and a 4 meter header, along with a 4 row corn cutter, and that. So, yeah, first of all, you'll find the Combine under Harvesters. There we go. 26 and a half grand to buy, not too bad in that. Pretty small in that, only 2,300 litre capacity, weighs 6.9 tonnes. Nice. 200 litres of fuel, 30 miles an hour, and slot count is 18 slots for the harvester. So, design we've got railings, roof, old or new. Design, no or yes, so that's going to be your chopper at the back. And other design, yes and no. Now that's going to be your safety reflector markers here. Attacher short or long. So again, that's going to be the pin hooking out for your trainers and that. Main colour, we've got blue. Blue too, which is slightly lighter blue. Green. Green too, which is more of a darker mid green. And green free. And design colour. So let's put blue on that. So that's going to be, I think that is the cabin, I think. Yeah, so that's going to be the top of the cabin there, so... That will change that. Now for your rim colours, you've got all your beiges, white, reds, different kind of reds. And then, yeah, four your headers, so yeah, as I mentioned, you've got a four and a six meter header. And these come with their respectable trainer, so you've got the E556 and the E566. So the 556 is a 4.2 meter and the 566 is a 5.7 meter header. Small one does 5 miles an hour, does all your basic crops, green crops. And the slightly bigger one does it at 3 miles an hour. They do come with their respectable header trainer, so you've got your 4 meter trainer, 1.5 grand, 6 meter trainer, 1,800. And turn Swiss slot counts for the rest of them. So for the 4 meter header, that is 6 slots, 3 slots for the trader. And for the 6 meter header, it is 7 slots with 3 slots also required for the trader. And then lastly, you've got your corn header now. It comes with the pack as well, that's a good thing to know. 5,502 purchase, weighs 800 kilograms, 3.1 meter, 4 miles an hour, does your corn and sunflower. And that is 3 slots on console. So. Hop into the cab. I do love that sound that these old equipment starting up. So you pipe out. Yes and no. Then L1 R1. Left six, left to right. So just that little flap there on the top. So that's gonna be like your little hopper and that. So I think let's go and grab the corn header on this. So we've got a little bit of corn here. And there we go, we are harvesting the corn. I do love that noise, I'm sort of clanging this on the metal. Yeah, it is pretty loud, so... Voice over is going to be a little bit difficult here, but yeah, we are matching fine. And it is worker friendly, so I'm going to get that going on that. Up into the other one, so yeah, got your attachers here and that, so that's why having that long attacher is important. 
Also, it takes a little bit of time, but realistic time to hook and unhook said trailer and that. So, let's go to what's left of our wheat field. And yeah, I promise, what I'm going to do now is currently it's one o'clock and that. So, we're in Saturday now. I'm going to get us uploaded straight away and edit it. Get then Wednesday's mods done. Yeah, get the Wednesday's mods done. And then, yeah, once I've done the mod review, I want to finish Fair and Countryside. Finish the next episode of our 10,000 cow challenge. And then, yeah, map tours and that. Well, yeah, the one that we had today and that, or tanks it yesterday now. But, uh, of course, the fantastic Dutch mods and that. And yeah, this one here is the open cab version. Also, we do have lights and that. Indicators. Left indicators, right indicators. But yeah, something like this, I love to sort of have that. Just, you know, harvest it outside. Always got beacon lights and that. We are shrugging here a little bit. But yeah, 3 miles an hour. We're at the limit of the horsepower on this. Again, that makes sense and that. Try to back around. But yeah, once I get everything done over the weekend, Sunday, it's going to be a chill out day in that. And yeah, I'm going to be redoing this map in that because, yeah, the 60 building pack, that pretty caught me off guard, that did. But yeah, I'll expand the areas and I will for future mob reviews, but yeah, just for a little short insight as we're just having a look and enjoying this harvest. Yeah, workers managed to do some something at least, so attach the header. Not that you can just output to the ground if you wish. Not the tallest of workers and that, so trailers you gotta be a bit wise off. Decent discharge to be that for the size of it at least. But yeah, overall, crack the mod. And this was the Forscritch E512 by Deutsche Volt. Next. Now we got the Rotna H21D Steep Slope Pack. This is by HR Force and for Zoikbub. 27.27 megabytes to download. And slot counts is 26 and 4. So 26 slots for the Harvester. And 4 slots for this fantastic winch. Now, and this is a cracking winch alone. I wish this was an option for other tractors and that because... Yep, the distance of the winch in that is absolutely huge, so... First of all, what's the helicopter just going over? Let's see how far we can go, because you can go very far with this, and yeah, so... Obviously, it's like the perfect map to test it in that, but... Things like silver and that, where you're struggling on the seep soaps and that, like... Potential risk of falling down in that. Or even when you're harvesting down soaps now, you can use this to pull up logs now from deep soaps. And yep, still going with the winch. So attach you to the tree. So yeah, only can attach to one tree at a time. But yeah, it's cracking a bit of kit this here, so I thought do a quick demonstration of you know cutting this down. Before we look at the mod itself in full and that, so. Let's tab back over. But yeah, so first of all, you'll find this under first of all forest machine vehicles and that. For the harvester itself, so go towards the end. So yeah, H21D, this is very similar to the base game, but with a lot of customization. So I like this on the other mods we've looked at, which is today alone, which is very similar to base game stuff. This does have some unique stuff to it so first of all siege one engine for an extra 10 grand that is an extra 80 horsepower then will brand's got nukians forestry kings all the all the false stars whatever it's called michelin's trailer borg so yeah i'm gonna go back to these a set because this will become more apparent so first of all design old or new so this is the actual like model design based on the older original like rotten harvesters and that. But then 
go on to our additional functions, got no. Yes, got your cab rotation left to right 9 degrees. Bogey lift, that's so you can lift the front wheels up. Rotation, I should sorry, rear front and rears, sorry. Got the rotation and the lift or none. Then you got your back window colour, so you got your standard, black, gold, and standard. Road equipment, no or yes. So yeah, just, just a little bit of equipment up for the roads. For example, the lights and that, as you can see there. Can we see anything at the rear? Not really, I don't think. Now, just the mirrors and lights, actually. Exhaust guard, no or yes. So that's just going to protect your exhaust, and the exhaust is just over here. So here at the back, then your hood protection, no or yes. So that's going to protect that. Rear cage, yes or no. If you're doing forestry, of course, you'll have all this enabled and that. Back version, open the trunk. And if you want the traction winch coupling, or traction winch, you need the coupling version. Also, you get to go back to the open trunk, so that's what it is. And the first 700 and that's worth it on its own. Now, we've got a plethora of corruption. So, first of all, we've got your olive source or olive source. Change colors of those. Main color. And the good thing about this, you've got toothpaste green. And processor head. So, yeah, basic color palettes and a plethora of other stuff to have. So. Man red for the harvester itself, the claw, and then that's the rims and that. But yeah, so you can go like all full on toothpaste, toothpaste metal, even if you want to. And also, combination goes for the traction winch, but on its own, you can find this under tools, under forestry equipment, go towards the end. There you go, 15 grand. Pull up to 16 tons. Weighs 2 tons on its own. Same colour options, so you can match your harvester if you wish. So, this is what I've got up here. And yeah, cut that tree down, of course, yeah, cut the winch and that. But yeah, this is designed for like more like slope terrain than that, so. Going up the slope banks and that. Uh, if anything, this may be a bit too steep and that to go up. Unless we use the bogey lift in that. We need to use the bogey lift, so bogey lift is active. So that's going to bring the front and rear wheels up. So now, okay, now that's him, but yeah, okay. This is a bit of a bad soap to go on. I'm not, yeah, again, I'm not the best at this, I'll admit to that. But yeah, you see the idea behind that, and this does work generally well. So, if you're on slope, you know, secure yourself out to a tree. That's all it is. You can pull one tree now, but it's mainly designed for securing your equipment. And obviously, with the harvester itself, you can go from 1 meter up to 25 meters at half meter increments. So 25 meters or 1 meter logs. But yeah, let's go and detach you. So, yeah, detach from the tree. Let's head over to our little forest here over here. But yeah, so you've got options now. So yeah, the control groups is literally the traction winch and the harvester itself. So, in cabin at, in position at. Then L1 circle can deactivate and activate transport modes. Got all your camera angles, obviously. Let's deactivate the bogey lift in that. Then L1 right stick, when even in transport mode, will drift just that a little bit, the crane. Okay, actually, we've got the transport mode off, so bear with me. Now, we're going to transport mode. So, yeah. That's what I meant. Show off. Oh. 
But yeah, then obviously you've got your boogie there, front, backs, front, backs. And obviously, change your cabin rotation 90 degrees, left to right. Then that one, yeah, Rick Sikori showed that. On to the traction winch itself. L1 left stick left to right. Apologies there, uh, YouTube live and that. But yeah, so L1 left stick right to left to right, just as that on rear. And that's all it does in that. So that's the control winch that in terms with the controls. But yeah, so now let's unfold said harvester. So L1 in circle. So get it all unfolded. And obviously if you got the platinum expansion, then you can have the so align the horse on that to the tree. There we go. Like so, just trying to get his position. Actually, you know what? Let's do like one meter log, so I also want to see how this looks and that. Yeah, the controls are different than that to base game that, so one thing to note, so there because yeah, I am shrugging at the moment. But yeah, anyways. Let's just leave that at that before touching anything else. So yeah, one of your logs. Need some cut in that. Then up it to five and a half meters. Oh no, a bit short actually. Let's go with ten meters. Decent processing right in that. Can't complain. And cut the rest of that off. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, now we'll try to master these controls now. So L1. That does that. So L1 right stick left to right does that. L1 R1. Left stick does something. Yeah, oh god. Well, what are you doing? Oh uh, no. Oh, you know what? I'm going to scrap that because, yeah, lovely bit of equipment, the controls. Oh, just ugly in that. Like, stick to base game stuff in that. I guess because of the control winch and that, options and that, and the. Ah, uh, what's it? Uh, maneuver lever in tra transport mode and that. That's why the control groups has got to be slightly switched in that, but. Personally, you know, just sit to your normal control groups if it's me, but I love forestry now, but I'm not heavy a heavy forestry player in that. I'm one of those where I do forestry as and when, but not always. Bit of a weird way to wrap this up, but that is the Rotten H21D Sleep Soap Pack by HR Forest and for Zoikable. Next. Getting to the end of these mods now, being the mega day of mods, so we've got the Man TGX Side Pack. This is by Caster, combination with Steven Alias, W7K, and DL brackets DS Agar Service. 36.63 megabits to download, and essentially what it says, it's a transport for your crops and that, rather than have like a normal trailer. Got these like little containers and that, so you've got your man trucks and that with your five. Of course, appropriate emission standards. But also, you got a fixed and a dolly version of the base and main tanker and that. So, first of all, under trucks, this will find the main lorry and that. The lorry tanker, whatever you want to call it. So, 500 or 640 horsepower. Will Brands Continental standards or deserves and that. Beacon lights, no. Hydrogen lights, LEDs, or none. Additional lights, yes or no. Back bar mounted. Mount of LEDs. So what is that? Oh no, it's at the front. I thought it was at the back. My apologies. Then the man logo can be mounted. Brand logo blue. And where is that? Who's at the back? Honestly, I can't see the difference. Is that that at the front? Seems to be doing something, but... 
checking in cabin app, but I can't tell a difference now. Like, wait a minute, what about if we need to enable some of these, maybe? But I think it could be the light snap. Well, I'm going to need this, I'll be able to see. But yeah, additional storage boxes, yes or no. So that's going to be on the side there at the back, as you can see. Just main cosmetic thing, man, rather than anything else. Then go to the front, additional bull bar, got none or mounted. And additional fuel tanks, yes or no. So this will double your death and normal fuel on that. And for the one person that asked in a recent mod video what is death, basically it's diesel exhaust fluid. There's another kind of fuel you can use on FS19. It was a bit more utilised than that, but on FS22 on console at least, Diesel exhaust fluid is like one of those things is like very hit and miss and that so But yeah, adds a little bit of weight as well it does. Anywho, main colours. First and green, that's gonna change the main cap. And let's go with a blue for the bull bar and HI bar. For the little silo and that, let's go with a red. The colour on the front, so that's gonna change those bits there, a little bit of plastic, that. And then the rims are s said, so. Ah, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's because the red man lights, that's what I think it is, actually. Well, again, a little nice thing to know, that. But yeah, for the side traders, this will be under traders. Go down towards the end, so these will hold 20,000 litres. Also, I forgot to mention the lorry will hold 25,000 litres, and yep, yeah, basic crops and that. TMR, chaff, wood chips and that, not straw, seed, fertilizer and that, lime, and silage. So, yeah, back to traders and that. And yeah, the only difference is between the two, as I mentioned already, is the fixed and dolly version. The dolly version will cost you another six and a half grand for those extra axles at the front. And that's an extra two tons in weight. So yeah, just standard continental trail board. Color configs are exactly the same. So the main color is going to be the silo. And then you got your set rim colors. So obviously something like this would be more designed for say a combine harvester now. So first of all, Oh, oh, sorry, R1. Yeah, these turn on the engine. So, yeah, got axle lowering. So, R1, L3. That lowers and raises the axle. L1 does, does nothing. Horn. Decent horn. Lights. Got all those lovely lights. Left indicator, right indicator. Like so. Then you got your beacon lights, as you can see. And yeah, you can have like a massive road, road trim with this. And this, first of all, disconnect to that sec. So, you look at the attachers and that, these are pin hooks and that. Yeah, all pin hooks through and through. Even though nothing seems to be mounted on this, it just, yeah, seems to work fine in that. I'm not going to question anything on that, but. Yeah, something like this, you'll sort of load off from a combine harvester directly from the field, so... So I'll try to aim for the combine to tab to, but I guess not. So hop into here. So yeah, I think it's that rear tank has got nothing in it, so... What you'll do is you'll pull up a side and that. Get into the correct position in that. And there we go, boom, I've unload, fill up with corn. And yeah, you'll take it to your silo or production and that. But yeah, these are pretty, for what it is, it is pretty pricey. You got 280 grand for the lorry. Other lorries are available, and you can just stick with the trailers. And yeah, 44, let's say 44 and 50 grand now, 43 and 49 grand, whatever you want to call it. For what they are in that. For the quality, now you're you're expecting secure quality compared to let's say twenty thousand years and that. So 
Yeah, you can get something like that, the crampy and that. Or what about something like that with extensions? So yeah, you're paying a bit of a premium now, but again, you're getting that additional security in that, so... That's what it's all about that at the end of the day. But yeah, overall, another cracking one that for, the t t for today. And that was the Man TGX Slider Pack by Caster Steven Alias W7K DS Agro Services. Or Survey, sorry. Next. <sighs> Now for the Life Slot Transporter MAN 19.403, this is by Black Sheep Modding. 16.3 megabytes to download, slot count is, look at my notes, 11 slots, goes down to 1. And yeah, essentially what this is, is a transporter for animals and that, so you can transport 18 cows, 30 sheep, 40 pigs, 8 horses, and such, or 290 chickens. So, first of all, you find this under tools and sorry vehicles and yeah vehicles and trucks sorry so yeah 19.403 51 miles an hour 258 fuel capacity 403 horsepower and yeah them slots goes down to one but yeah so will brand's got lizards michelins nukians treadborg back to lizard then for your visibility of your animal selection, so you got your cows, pigs and sheep, or just your chickens, or just the horses and that. Then you got your stickers, model 1, model 2, model 3, model 4, or none. Strobes, yes or no, so you got your orange strobes, white strobes, daylights, or none. Roof decals, or roof details, sorry, type 1, beacons, beacons with a bar. Beacons with a bar and lights. Beacons with bar, well, sorry. The bar with the lights, but without the beacons with an air horn. Your air slope and none. Bull bar, model A, B, or none. So yeah, these are for something a bit more black like that. Main color, so all this is base game color option palette. So that's gonna change your main body. Design colour and that, so that's going to change... I should go with a nice hot pink, that would definitely tell the difference. And I think that is one of these, yep, so... That's going to change those. Not those. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that, that little stripe there. And the second design colour is going to change the back end, so... Go with a bright yellow Nat. There you go. And design colour number three is the actual like panels and that. Then that's you got your room colours as you expect. So yeah, at the moment I've got our chickens in here. As you can tell by all the little chicken crates and that. So in cap. Decent Nat. Lights all up. I open the help menu for this. So R1, right stick left to right, it's gonna do your side door. R1 does nothing, R L and R1 does nothing. Change to control group number two, so this is gonna be your lower flaps. So this is gonna be these on the outside. So L1, right stick up and down. And make your chickens go hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. And then yeah, going upper flaps, that does the same here. And then back to your doors. Then you get L1 next, you fold and unfold. Now what I'm going to do is go to our chicken pen, so 9 miles an hour with reverse speed. Still going to pick up and go now, say that. How does it handle? Not too bad actually, so... Obviously you can just undo like so. But I prefer to open the flaps and that, so just sort of Try to make something at least. And then, yeah, what you can do is transport all your chickens in. There we go. See, so yeah, I've got 290 here. And there we go. Chickens are in. Horn. 
basic Hornet. But yeah, another Kraken Marnat. And this was the Livestock Transport Man 19.403 by Black Sheep Modding. Next. <sighs> On to our penultimate mod of the day. We got the Lizard U411. This is by Sushis Modded. 15.75 megabytes of download. 11 slots on console. And essentially, it's just like a little go where, a where, kind of get around the farm. Farm truck almost. Very short and nimble. Very small axle, so be careful what you put on because you can and will tip this and that. And yeah, as I mentioned, 11 slots goes down to 1. And once again, you find this under trucks. And for 14 grand, an absolute bargain. Bear in mind, only 30 horsepower, 40 years of fuel, top speed of 32 miles an hour. And yeah, look at the capacities in that. Yeah, that is something. So yeah, that is... I almost confused me there. Yeah, 1,350 litres or 4,200 litres. So, there you go. 1,350, 4,200. Got your platform. Or your platform with that little gap missing that gives you... Access to the rear hitch as an option. As standard, as you can see, there is no win winches or anything like that. We'll get to those in sec. So, Wilbrands, BKTs, different variations, Michelins, Nokians, Mitas, and yeah, back to Trelleborg. Couplings. Got your winch, so that's going to be at the front. Don't think there's a winch on the rear. No, there ain't. Or we've got the rear hitch, the rear hitch and winch, so there you go. Or just both, uh, sorry, rear hitches on the front and rear, so three point linkages and that. And also for roofing, got your original cab support, roof setup, beacons, yes or no. Blue beacons as well as an option. So yeah, let's go and the colour options for colours and again a plethora of colour options. Cabin, there you go, that just change that little tarpaulin. The woods, you can change that. Let's go with a green on that for the rims. Licence plate. So yeah, I've got a little uh what's it? TMR Bell. Obviously you've got tension straps, two tension straps. L1 to R1 to unload. That's even as is. So yeah, you got that. Tip side left. There we go. And then that's the tip side right. And also you've got L1 R1. That does something there in sec, so yeah, let's get this full up sec. But yeah, looking cam that, so light, very basic in that. A little bit of AC there, a little fan there, so yeah. L1. It's making a clunky sound. But I cannot tell what that is doing. Maybe it's something to do with the traders and that so yeah not a trader the tipper function L1 R1 nothing no so no idea discharge rate decent enough for its size and that could be a little bit faster yes maybe of course so yeah, I'm gonna leave that over there but yep yeah, what is this doing Sounds like it's like a flap now or something. It's like a clanging, but usually be in cab or at the rear on that, but yeah, to be honest, I got no idea on that, so maybe actually if we say get the normal version. So yeah, go back to the shop. 
There we go. And I forgot I ordered the second one. Ah, that's it there, yeah. That's what I thought it was. The little flap there. I knew it was something not stupid, but something obvious in that. But yeah, back to you. We just got a decent gap and go, Nat. Obviously, when it's loaded with items all, stuff on the back. You're not sure if I even want to call, call on people who are recording there, but. Yeah, it was not too bad. Do you sit a bit high now, I think. I'd rather be slightly a bit too high than a bit too low. So yeah, from here it looks alright. From in cab, looks like there's a special right head on the uh, crash bars and that, or well, the support frame and that. So, if I crash it, it ain't gonna go well for me. But yeah, so you've got your three point leakages here. Let's see if we can find something to hook those on to. So, alright, what I've got done is not reset those. I want to reset these to the shop because. Nope. Yeah, I want to see how this performs in that with something a bit. Over, over, not over heavy in that. It's like only like one point whatever tons in that. But how does it handle, handle the horsepower in that? Because. Okay, we're going to need a rear weight as well, so. Thankfully we've got plenty of weight, so I'm thinking that would do, something like that. Let's see, we've got to turn around, so we just get you lined up the other way around. Come on. So there we go, we've got the weight on. Oh yeah, so now we're a bit more balanced. And looking at the roller now again, so... Seven miles an hour, so yeah, turning is one thing, I'll admit. But yeah, if it's just straight lines and that, then yeah, crack on with this. But yeah, it can be limited on what you can use. It's more for transporting than anything else. It's not designed really for, I think personally, unless you're going really small stuff in equipment and that, which I'm sure there is on Mod Hub, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, so if he, yeah, I think it's more of a transporter than anything else. You know, get around to the farm, do ever fuel on that if needed. <coughs> Pardon me. But yeah, overall, nice little cracking mod. So yeah, that is the Lizard U411 by Solutions Modding. Now, finally, head on to our final mod of the today. And now, for something a little bit different, but also not so different, we've got the Lizard 9R series, but this is the South American version series. And no, this ain't by Deans or anything like that, this is by Guyon FS. 21.56 megabytes to download, 22 slots on console. And yeah, so we've got South American version of the 9R series, so... As always, something like this, you'll find some of the large tractors. Go towards the end, or near the end, find what you're looking for, there we go. So yeah, engine up, so you've got your 9420R power shift, 9470 power shift, 9520 power shift, so that goes from 462, 517, 572, the 9570R is 627 horsepower, the 9620R is 670 horsepower, which is stuff you expect. But yeah, we get the chip tune version, or the chip version. 9620 power shift in that, so that is 800 horsepower. Well, Brands, Lizards. Sorry, we've got a lot of like flotation like tires. Treadborg. Narrows and that, doubles. Michelin's pretty much the same. Connells and White are the same. But also, we've got your rice wheels. So, if you're playing Italian rice, which just had an update. Yeah, that's something like this. Not too bad, not too shabby. Now, for the model itself, so yeah, this is South... Um, yeah, not South Africa, we say that, South America. So you got your Brazilian standards, US standards with the indicators, EU with those stupid safety markers and that. And back to Brazil. Windows clear or dark, tinted. Front weights, none up to 1800 kilograms. 
or go to 1,300, 800, 300 kilograms, and back to standard. The cabin flags, no or yes. So you got your Brazil, Rio Grande del Sol, Santa Catarina, Catarina Paraná, U.S. flag, German flag, and French. Back to Argentine flag. Flag. Also got your reverse beep, yes or no. So you're beeping, get that annoying reversing sound. Design configuration, so you got your chrome tip. So yeah, that's gonna be your exhaust. Floating beacons, floating beacons with the rotating beacon or the chrome tip, sorry. Or none. Antennas, no cap antenna, antenna with the PX radio or none. Additional lights, no or yes with design one. Design 2, Design 3, Design 4, Design 5, 6, 7, and back to none. Numbers goes from 1 to 19. Hub, sorry, uh, hitch configuration, so 3 point link hitch as standard, or you can have the option to remove that rear hydraulic. And now for your hood flex, so it's going to change on the hood itself, so Brazil, Rio Grande, Santa Carina, Parana. Also got United States and your German flags along with your French. And yeah, main colour is green or black as you've seen. Licence plate. So yeah, overall, not too bad a bit of a kit. Not too bad, I like the horn. Horn standard, I don't even like the horn. I meant just the sound of the tractor itself. So L1, X, fold and unfold is literally just the steering and nothing else. L1, left stick, left to right. Ah, yes, yeah, so that's going to bring new sounds, your shutters. And L1, R1, right stick, left to right does your door. Two, control group, two, so your L1, right stick, left to right, just as the angle. Also, I can bring a bit in and closer, like so. So, when you park it up in there. And then, yeah, so R1, right stick, left to right, is exactly the same as we just mentioned. But, yeah, now let's get cracking on. So, yeah, with the chipped engine now, you can go up to 24 miles an hour. I think this, yeah, 20 miles an hour it is, so yeah, for those extra 4 miles an hour, it's going to make huge differences down the roads. But yeah, I love the look of this and that, especially the blackout in the American one. If it's had like a British flag, flag and that, I would absolutely love that. Especially when you think, you know, you accommodate our enemies to French. Why not give us a little bit of love? Again, I'm just joking around on that. But yeah, that is all of the mods for the 14th of June 2024. It's going to be a long video, Nat. So yeah, once that starts editing and uploading, well, once I've done the editing and uploading, I'm going to spend the rest of the night working on the mods from Wednesday I missed. And then go from there, we're getting this piece recorded, map tours done, and all that other good stuff. But anyways, as always, hope you found this helpful and informative in some shape or form. If so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me from our Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.